Hello, I'm Nick from Allied Electrical, and today we're going to talk about uh, replacement consumer units. So consumer units, distribution boards, um, fuse boards, fuse boxes, whatever you choose to call it, different names, that same thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a few different examples ranging from an older style uh, fuse boards through to uh, the, the modern current ones. We'll explain the differences between them um, and we'll also uh, talk about the improvements in safety. So let's hop straight into it and we'll have a quick look at the, the first one. So this is a, this is a Wilex um, rewirable consumer unit dated from the 1960s, 1970s. I'm sure many of you will recognise these. Um, if we just remove that front cover a second. Many uh, manufacturers uh, did the, the rewirable fuses. Uh, MEM is another very, very common one we, we come across, uh, which is a grey front um, with the black uh, back case on it. Wilex did uh, a brown version of this, which is um, earlier still. Um, all works on the same principle with the rewirable fuses. So one uh, big notable absence um, with these rewirable fuses uh, or rewirable fuse boards is the absence of any RCD protection. Uh, so RCD is a residual current device. Um, so a fuse works on the principle of uh, overload. So if too much current flows through the fuse, um, the fuse wire inside uh, pops and it breaks power to the circuit. RCD works slightly differently. Um, it works on the principle of um, earth leakage. So if you get any discharge down to earth, causes the RCD to trip and um, cut power to the circuit. RCD isn't there to replace the circuit breakers and RCD is there to complement them. Um, it just improves the safety of the installation. Um, best example of an RCD, apart from obviously finding it in a fuse board, um, you can get uh, a little RCD box to plug into a socket and then you plug your lawnmower uh, into it. It's an RCD. Thinking behind it is if you cut through the lead to your lawnmower, just cuts power off that bit quicker and makes it a little safer. Um, okay, so another thing with these uh, rewirable consumer units, when these were being specified and installed, depending on the use of the circuit, um, they were designed to operate uh, or designed to take anything up to five seconds for the, for the fuse to, to pop. Now, imagine you're being electrocuted. Not a good thought, I know. Um, now, five seconds is an awfully long time. Now, compare that with um, the modern consumer units, where it's a maximum of 0.4 seconds. Big, big difference in safety there. So, if we turn this one um, around, so you'll notice front cover is made of plastic. The back cover is constructed from wood. Um, great insulator, which is why they use it. However, rubbish from fire safety point of view. Here you'll see you've got one of the terminals um, screwed directly to the woodwork and the significance of that we'll talk about with the next consumer unit but, but really not good from a fire safety point of view. So uh, anything else um, with this one? Usability, it's a big, it's a big issue with these. Um, so we'll use an example. So let's say you've come in from work, switched your light switch on, the bulb's gone and it's caused, um, caused the fuse to blow. Quite a common occurrence. Um, it's, a, it's a call out we often get. Would you know what to do? Well, let's just imagine that was screwed to your wall there. Um, so the first thing, remove the cover. So how do you know which fuse has, has, has blown? There's no indication on it anywhere. Well, frankly, you don't. Uh, the only thing you can do is start removing fuses in turn and see which one has actually popped the fuse wire. So if we just have a quick look, they're incredibly difficult to get out and that's actually um, quite a common um, issue we find that the protective fuse holder, the, the screw is missing from it. Um, and the effect that has, it actually exposes the, the live um, copper terminals behind to touch. So. If you'd inadvertently put your fingers behind the fuse as you'd pulled that out, you'd have been electrocuted. It is potentially incredibly dangerous. Now, back to the fuse. So let's imagine that this is the fuse that's actually blown. Uh, you can see there. Now, even for a professional, that is uh, a very, very fiddly job to, to change the fuse wire in that. Factor in, you may also be doing that in the dark because your light and circuit is uh, blowing the fuse. Just makes it that much more difficult. 
So all in all, um, with the rewirable fuses, um, it's not good from a fire safety point of view, uh, and it's also um, very difficult to use, and obviously a bit of a risk from electric shock. So let's move on a few years. That's 1960s, 1970s. We're looking for this one here. It looks a little bit more modern. Um, we're now up to the 1980s, very early 90s. Looks more modern because it's got the um, MCB trip switches on it. However, still notable emission. There's no RCD protection on it. So again, it's still a real risk of, um, of electric shock there. So what we'll do is if we just pop the front cover off that one a second. We'll also take the buzz bar cover off. So this particular consumer unit we've actually removed from a customer's property. We were called to the property um, due to a burning smell coming from the from the consumer unit, and it was quite lucky they'd caught it quite early. Um, but what's actually happened is neutral conductor from the shower circuit. It's just loosened over time. It's quite a common common issue, and I don't know how well you can pick that up on camera, but it's actually caused the terminal to melt. Um, and the surrounding plastic and the side of the main switch as well and the, um, the neutral conductor uh, are also melted as well. Now the issue with that obviously plastic construction on the case uh, what you can find is as the molten bits fall into the bottom of the consumer unit uh, it can melt the case, drop through, lands onto, onto um, whatever is below uh, the consumer unit in the cupboard. Consumer unit, uh, electric cupboards, we often find people store uh, a variety of flammable stuff uh, in there. You might find you've got your umbrella underneath, um, might have some rags or cloths or whatever, tin of paint, that kind of WD-40, um, bottle of oil for the car, we've seen, we see it all in, in electric cupboards. Real issue from, from a fire safety point of view. Now let's take this situation and look back to the rewirable fuse with the wooden case. Doesn't take much uh, imagining to, to see what could go wrong with that. Um, could potentially be very serious indeed. So again, with this style, still a, a risk of um, a shock due to the, the absence of RCD and you've still got the, the issue of um, potential fire risk with that as well. So let's move on to uh, something more modern. We'll look at this, uh, this handsome beast. Um, so this is a this is a modern um, dual RCD consumer unit. Um, just lift the front flap. So it's called dual RCD because it's actually fitted with two RCDs. So you've got this RCD here, provides um, earth leakage protection to these circuits, and this one here provides earth leakage uh, to these circuits here. Um, the thinking behind having two is if one trips out, it doesn't leave you completely in the dark. Um, without lighting or power, um, you've still got the other half of the of the fuse board live. Um, all the all the various circuits are all labelled, apart from these two here, which are, are just spare circuit breakers and nothing on those. Um, so uh, very easy to use from a, a user's point of view. So metal consumer unit. Um, the reason it's metal, fire safety. So imagine um, we've had the issue that we've had with the plastic consumer unit where something inside has melted. Um, no matter how bad um, that gets, whatever it is, it's contained within the consumer unit. All that happens is it simp simply drops into the bottom of the metal enclosure um, and it's just uh, all contained within the, within the consumer unit. Um, the lid is also hinged on the top to ensure it stays shut. Uh, that way, if you get any of the circuit breakers or anything melts, it also falls back into the consumer unit rather than falling out the front. Great design. Um, obviously, massive improvement in fire safety. Um, okay, so going back to the Wilex, uh, the rewirable consumer unit, um, let's take the same example. So you've come in from work, pop the light switch on, and the, the lamp's blown, and it's caused the, the lighting circuit to trip out. So. Let's look, there. we'll simulate that fault just by flicking the circuit breaker off. So, um, what would you do? Well, you'd go to your electric cupboard, lift the flap up on the consumer unit, simply look along, you're looking for downstairs lighting circuit in this case, it's just labeled there, and all you need to do, simply reset the circuit breaker. Really as simple as that. Uh, massively easier uh, 
to use from a, an end user's point of view than the, the rewirable ones. Also brings us on to another good point as well. So all our uh, retrofit consumer units um, currently for a limited time only come with a complementary emergency light fitting. Um, if the power fails to the consumer unit or to the lighting circuit, the battery backup in the light fitting kicks in um, and provides you with sufficient light in order to reset the circuit breaker to the lighting circuit or restore power to the distribution board consumer unit. Um, great bit of kit um, and again just makes things so much easier. Um, so anything else? Um, yes, disconnection times. So we spoke about the five second disconnection time with the, with the rewirable fuses. So modern um, MCB RCD combination, maximum 0.4 second dis disconnection time. Maximum. Now, in reality, um, it's often an awful lot quicker than that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to prove that fact now. So what I have here is one of our multifunction testers and this will actually simulate a fault and we'll we'll measure the actual disconnection time so if we lift the cover up so we're actually plugged into the downstairs socket circuit there so it's downstairs sockets this is the breaker and this is the the rcd associated with it so let's do a quick test and just see how long it actually takes to trip out so, I don't know if you can see that though, 14.4 milliseconds, it's milliseconds. So compare that to up to five seconds with the rewirables, um, you can see there is a massive improvement in protection against electric shock there. So let's just recap the benefits from it. Um, so firstly, um, fire safety, massive improvement. Um, Obviously, if there is an issue with it, uh, it's all contained within the consumer unit, no risk of it spreading outside. Um, the usability side of things, obviously very, very straightforward um, to reset a circuit breaker um, in the event of a fault, especially with the, the, the complementary emergency light fitted there as well. Um, and lastly, huge, huge improvements in um, electric shock protection. So. Uh, Next step, you need to go to, your, uh, go to your electric cupboard, have a little look at your consumer unit. Uh, if you recognise it from either of, the, um, either of the, the examples we've had there, um, don't forget the Wilex ones do come in other colours as well as the cream. They also come in a brown colour, which is a, an even older version. Um, but if you have rewirable fuses fitted, um, or alternatively, uh, if you don't have any RCD protection fitted on your consumer unit, or you're unsure, call me now. We're happy to pop out and have a little look and we can advise you accordingly. Thank you very much for watching and above all, stay safe.